Friday, Friday, gotta get down on Friday. I bet I ruined your life just now. I bet you didn't want that stuck in your head and it's been years, but there you go. It's time to open Advent. <laughs> um, we'll start with candy today. If these aren't sour, I'm gonna be sad. Christmas trees. Don't recommend this box. They kind of grew on me after a while, actually. Those are good. Yeah, those are yummy. Mm. The green ones are sour apple. It's just the outside was weird. My advent from Lindsay. <laughs> oh, this is so pretty. I don't know this one. I have never seen anything like this one. This one kind of looks like Thanksgiving. I wonder if this is a Thanksgiving color. Arkansas Yarn Co. I think there's a goodie. There is a goodie. It's a little mitten. Lori makes these herself. Um, at least I think she made all of these herself. I'm pretty sure. And let's see the yarn. It's called Make Them Happy Happy. I have to watch the movie. <gasps> oh, that's so pretty and Christmassy. It looks like a little Christmas wreath. Oh my goodness. So red, green speckles, a little bit of gold. A little bit of like orange is probably from mixing the red and the yellow. Oh, blue speckles. This is so pretty. What am I going to do with this? What am I going to do? I need an advent pattern. Last one. This is the Wooly Mama Yarn Co. Advent. It's so good. These are my colors. Pink, purple, blue. Beautiful. Holy crap, that's lovely. That's so that's so good. Okay, wait. Where's my day one advent? Look how pretty that is. Oh my gosh, this is day one. This is day two. This is day three. See, it doesn't really go, but it kind of goes. The yellow is just very standout. And then those are so pretty. This is so pretty. I love it. Very happy. Now let's see. The Arkansas Yarn Co. one. Oh, that's pretty. Okay, okay, I see it a little bit. I'm seeing some fading in, in stuff here. This, okay, so Lori dies based on a movie. She'll watch the movie and pick lines and pick colors from the scene in the movie. So they're not gonna be cohesive, but these three kind of are, because this is like purpley and like light blue and this one has the light blue but then fades in some browns and some reds and some speckling of like darker colors and then this one has the speckling of darker colors. I'm still not sure what I want to do about that though. Someone recommended a cowl that looked pretty easy. It was like a stripey cowl. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Otherwise I'll just never knit it because I have my entire Arkansas Yarn Co. advent from last year in a box. <laughs> okay, now it's time to get to work. Then I have to do a whole bunch of bullshit today. Finished my day three socks, eating some lunch, cheese dip, and I literally can't get enough of this woman. Let's put that final thing on there. 
That's a lot of Christmas you got there, Mom. I know, and I'm not going to use it all because it doesn't <laughs> seem to match. It's like, for some reason, I'm bothered by it all, and I just want CGI. New <laughs> As Tom Hanks as a hobo on a train, the Polar Express. Oh, he's a hobo. Yeah, he's not a hobo. Yeah, he's a ghost hobo on the on the train. He like lives on the roof of the train. He's a ghost though. And and um, <laughs> that's, 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 that's yes, it's true. He's a hobo. Yes. I thought he was the train conductor. He's both. No. He's both. He's, I swear he's both. I swear. <laughs> started decorating for Christmas. This guy's motion activated. He says, ho, 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 Merry Christmas, and scares all of my nieces and nephews. Um, these are some of her Santas. She gets new ones all the time. She says she gets one a year, but that's bullshit. <laughs> Me and my sisters took pictures for her for Christmas one year. <laughs> anyway, let's see the madness. So, these are things that don't have a home yet. We don't know where to put them. Those are... I believe costumes for the dogs. There's stuff all over. We're getting quite messy. She has oven mitts for every occasion, obviously. We put up the Christmas tree. Logan came over to watch a movie and so we put up the Christmas tree for her. She's gonna decorate it still. We've got blankets. We got another giant Santa. He'll go in the bedroom because the dogs will want to bite him. Dogs are sleeping. More Christmas. More Christmas, more Christmas, and let's see how much we have left in here. Let's see. <laughs> There's so much Christmas. All of those tubs are Christmas decorations, those ones and the Christmas ornaments. And there goes my cat. You asshole. Also, she likes to decorate my bathroom. So this used to be a different kind of bucket with my stuff in it <laughs> and <laughs> Santa pants with all my skincare. My bath palms are probably in here now. Um, hair product, some lotion. Um, but yeah, she puts up literally decorations everywhere. And the mirror, I won't show you my boobs again. <laughs> my mirror will have um, Santa stickers all over it. <laughs> kind of sweaty. Hey everyone, it's Kristen. I almost said it's Christmas. It's Kristen and it's Vlogmas Day 3, Friday. And I think I actually took quite a bit of footage today so I don't have to talk for very long. <laughs> um, I really thought that I would be finished with my love note today, but it is two in the morning currently and my boyfriend just left. I was at work till 8 p.m. and I didn't even finish what I was hoping to have finished. So I have two projects to finish over the weekend but I'm not gonna worry about that until Sunday. That is Sunday Kristen's problem. So, <laughs> what the heck is happening here? I think I just turned it all inside out. What did I do? What did I do? This is normal. No, it's not. I'll have to figure this out later because there's yarn coming from every which way. This is the back of my sweater. I've got one finished sleeve all the way down. It fits all the way to my wrist. And I'm hoping that it doesn't kind of jump up when I finish the neckline. But if it does, I'll block it long and it'll be fine. I'm gonna try to keep the angles good so that you don't see like right down my tank top and just saggy cleavage all day long. This is a shit show because it's 2 a.m. So I'm gonna cycle through this. I haven't gotten any of my goals done so far for it being Friday, December 3rd. I have not finished my love note. I wanted to finish it on Wednesday. I have not um, started any of my other Christmas socks beyond the Cozy Knitter Advent Sock. I have not picked a pattern or done any knitting on my new yarn, which I really want to do. And I haven't started these mitts, these fingerless mitts that I wanted to start with for my mom. This was a gift from Ryan the Yarn Hag. It is Bubblicious, I think, from Arkansas Yarn Co. It is a DK weight yarn, but it's reading very worsted. It's pretty thick. So I wanna make fingerless mitts for my mom. I've never made fingerless mitts for anyone. So I've picked a few patterns. I'm gonna show them here. 
I don't know how I'm gonna edit it. So maybe I included them in between statements or maybe they're on the screen, I don't know. Um, but yeah, if you know any other fingerless mitt patterns, leave them below and I'll pick one because that sounds um, fun. <laughs> because I don't know any patterns. Um, and I, I have no idea where to start. I'm just, I don't know. I think I kind of want the kind of mitts where it's fingerless, but it also has a flap, like a detachable or attachable flap, um, to cover your fingertips because we do have a few cold days, just not, not a lot. And, uh, my mom gets cold, um, chemotherapy and her immunotherapy, they, get your fingers like tingly and cold so the warmer you keep them the better off you are and so whenever she gets cold she gets cranky so tonight's movie was the christmas chronicle my boyfriend came over and we watched it together he'd never seen it i've seen it like once um i think two years ago maybe three years ago um probably right when it came out like 2018 2019. i remember really liking it back then but we had so much fun watching it. First of all, my boyfriend is, <laughs> he's atypical. <laughs> he's kind of got like a weird, like combination of old soul and child mixed in. And he's, he's a lot younger than me. He's 23, I'm 35, kind of weird and icky. And I feel like I would judge someone who was 35 dating a 23 year old girl, but it is what it is anyway. We're watching the movie and he, like, I had to pause it because I'm one of those people who likes to hear the movie and he's one of those people that just talks and talks and talks and I'm like, you haven't seen this. You're missing plot. And he's like, it's a Christmas movie, you know? Um, but by the end of the movie, he was asking me if I thought that in this movie, Santa Claus was friends with God. So, <laughs> he had me cracking up though. Then we watched several really bad Christmas movies we found a channel on the Roku that's like, I think it's called the Yule Log channel. I'll look it up. I'll try and find it and link it below or post about it because y'all have to get the Yule Log channel. So we went to in search of the old classic Christmas movies like Rudolph and A uh, Year Without a Santa Claus. Those ones I've seen, the, the like stop motion animation ones. I've seen all of those, but they had one that we'd never heard of. It was called Santa Claus Conquers the Martians, and it wasn't stop motion. It was like a 1940s or 50s, like real life movie where like humans were dressed as Martians and it was just humans with like gold face paint and like silly hats. And the kids were like obsessed with Santa. So they wanted to go like kidnap Santa. It was crazy. And it said it was 87 hours long. It wasn't, it was like 40 minutes, but still. That's not a synopsis. <laughs> the movie I was supposed to watch and review, but The Christmas Chronicles or A Christmas Chronicle, I don't really know what one it is, is really good. It's Goldie Hawn and Kurt Russell. I think Oliver Hudson's in it for like a minute. Um, the girl from Father of the Bride, who's now married to Brad Paisley, is also in it. The kids are cute. The elves are weird, but it's a really cute movie. I really liked it. Um, it had some big comedic actors in it that were just like bit parts, so I was like, that was sad. They could have had more lines. It could have been better. But I think I think it, overall it's a really good movie and fun to watch with your kids and stuff. So maybe not your little kids. There are bad words. <laughs> and it's... I wouldn't... I don't know. There's some strange adult humor that I, I wouldn't necessarily think a little, little kid would watch. Though I was watching... Frosty the Snowman Returns, I think, the one that was made in like 2012 or 14. Um, I was watching that with my nephew who was born in 2012 when he was probably two or three. And one of the little girls in that movie is just a bitch. And, <laughs> and, um, and I said so, I said, geez, Karen, why you gotta be such a bitch? And he was two, mind you, and he still remembers. And every time he watches that movie at nine years old, he's like, ah, Karen, she's such a bitch. I'm the worst aunt ever, but also the best aunt ever. So anyways, I hope you guys had a really good Friday. I hope you're having a great weekend right now and you're getting in the Christmas spirit. And that's all I got for you. I'm tired, bye.